It was it was superb, really. I mean, the, the lads responded to it. I mean, they they all knew that they Manchester City fans had, had known that they hadn't won away in the first division for four years, and it was it was superb. I mean, the, the response from the fans was absolutely tremendous. Even though City had been up and down somewhat in, in in recent seasons, I think people don't expect you to be down with the chance of Luton slugging it out. Does that make survival a more difficult proposition for a club like Manchester City? I, I think it does because it's a big club, Clive, and, and uh, I came to the club when they were right at the bottom of the, of the table and, and uh, my objective was naturally to, to keep them in the first division. Um, we, we're trying to do that. But I believe, in all seriousness, that we, we've got a squad of players that if and when we do survive, that we've got a, a side to challenge with the best next season. You've you not been I mean? buying in the short term then? No, I mean, I, naturally some, some buys have been short term. Um, but at the same time, I'm, I'm looking to the future and when we're looking to next season, um, I, I can't see many changes in terms of, uh, of challenging for the uh, for the prize at the top. How difficult has it been to, to sort of to catch up from your, your time away in Spain, to catch up your knowledge of players and, and teams? Well, when I, when I came to Manchester City, I looked at the squad and I, and I felt that they were, without, without taking anything away from the players who have left, I, I felt that they were in the position they deserved to be in. That was rock bottom of the first division. And I, and I felt that changes needed, were needed very, very quickly. And I brought in players that I knew, and rightly or wrongly, I mean, we all we've all taken a lot, little bit of criticism and in terms of uh, the ex-Everton ex -Everton players and whatever. Um, but you knew them from two years earlier, didn't you? Yeah, but they're not old players, are they? I mean, there's only Peter, isn't there? I mean, he, when he's not that old, is he? He's only 33. I mean, we're, we're talking about players who are 28, 29 years of age. I mean, they're not past it. I mean, Brian Robson, they're talking about going to England, uh, going with England and leading them in the, the World Cup in, in Italy. And he's, he's six months younger than Peter Reid. A lot of people thought you made a mistake by taking the city job and should have waited for a bigger job. What, <laughs> what bigger job? <laughs> it's a big job. I mean, I'm, de I'm delighted to be where I am. I mean, I, ca I came back from Spain and uh, I wanted a big job. Um, at the same time, I wasn't talking myself about. I thought that the, the right thing to do was to just take things easy a little while. Um, just readjust to English football, have a look at a few games, but then you find yourself linked with this and linked with that. And there are four big clubs in this area. You know, there's Everton, there's Liverpool, there's Manchester United, and there's Manchester City. And I was offered one of them, and I was delighted.